السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today we'll talk about some of the specific character of my late father, رحمة الله عليه. My late father, رحمة الله عليه, was the third son of his my grandfather, Sheikh Said Al Banna. And the dream of my grandfather was to get all his children to become scholars qualified from other university. My two elder, uh, my two elder uncles, and my father. So after my father finished his secondary uh, school, uh, in Azhar Secondary School in a, Medina, a, a city called Tanta, he went to Cairo to join Al Azhar University. At the time, it was a mosque. Actually, all the teaching was inside the mosque. Uh, my father, actually, my grandfather, used to buy from my father the old textbook, which was very expensive at the time to buy, because he wanted his son to keep reading from the uh, textbook, the original and the, the original authentic textbooks. And this was a good for the knowledge, learning the knowledge, but a bad for the discussion when my father used to sit down with his colleagues in front in, in a big meeting with, with the sheikhs, the grand sheikhs of Al Azhar or others, a senior scholar in Azhar. And my father used to explain his opinion from what he read in the big textbooks. This made the young graduate like my father to be very envy of him and the use to say something bad against my father in his absence to the senior people in Azhar and with this made him to be delayed in his appointment into Al Azhar University as establishment and he was made Imam for about 15 years with what's equivalent for PhD and this because of the wish-washy discussion between some of the his colleagues and the senior uh, uh, people in the Azhar cell. This also has been mentioned by other scholars from Egypt. Uh, some of, one of them called the Ta Hussein. He wrote it in his book, which called Al uh, Ayyam or the Days of Ta Hussein in Al Azhar. Uh, the house was having two two powerful individuals. My mother, as a social worker, uh, receiving people, and she was a very good reader. Very good reader in history, in theology, in cookery, in politics, in others. And this is the way I had been brought up in her house, in my grandfather's house from her side. And my father on the uh, theological part. And when we sit down with people, when the discussion started to, uh, to happen between my father and my mother, my mother, with her knowledge, used to have very powerful argument with her, with him. And they always say, oh, mu'mina, oh, believing woman, and mu'mina is a believing woman, and I'm smiling, never criticized her hair in public, never uh, put her opinion down, and always was smiling at her discussion because she is a learner and she is uh, an orator as well, especially in history. Uh, one incident happened to show the good character of my father. Before the revolution, or, uh, which is 1952 in Egypt, uh, there was the available uh, residential places for everybody, flats, uh, villas and others. Uh, later on, after those uh, military uh, uh, personnel uh, took the ruling of Egypt, uh, the population started to rise and there was no investment in uh, residential uh, property to the public. And we were leaving our flat in Al Hilmiya, going to our villa in uh, in Al Khaf, Mahansim. And uh, in spite of the fact there was difference in opinion between us and the landlady of the house, at the time there was something called the key, the money for the key, يعني, you know, which you call it in Arabic, uh, and when you rent a flat, you have to pay. When we leave the flat, you have to pay. 
But at that time, actually, as part of the difference between us and uh, and the landlady, my father went up to her flat and gave her the key and asking for nothing because this is her property and it's haram to take uh, money for the key for leaving the flat. One day, my father was trying to punish me, but the time his hand came down from high, like, ah, it became like rubbing my, uh, my uh, shoulder or my uh, chest. So, uh, we used to have a big library at my father's bedroom, have tens and tens and tens of those big, 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 old, authentic books, which actually need to become like, uh, become like historical, because it was for the different uh, uh, era of time from the 19th centuries and from the 19th centuries. And this went up with us to our uh, villa when we moved to the villa. So when we look at a house like this with the mother and the father, the mother is very literate reader, and the father is very knowledgeable in theology and in the la in, in life as well. And the, the people, actually the visitors, the friends, the relatives who come to us, I used to enjoy all this kind of discussion to, and to know that actually for any opinion, there's another opinion. And it's very, very, very important when you grow up your children from the birth to the, to the age of 14, actually, you know that they actually capture everything they have in the house. That's why I captured every detail in the house, in the discussion, in the fight, the argument, the visitors, the friends, and the relatives, and, 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 and to impact on my life. I will uh, thank you very much for, uh, for listening to the video, and please uh, activate the notification bell and share the video with your colleagues.